What's a barometer? I'm glad you asked. It's an instrument for telling you what the weather will be like in the future. And I'm sure you've seen one like this before. Have a look at that. Yesterday, I lined it up so that the shiny arrow was directly above the black arrow here on the right. And the black arrow has moved that far towards the side that says fair, very dry. So the weather is improving. If it had gone the other way, we would have been heading for rain. The most important part of the barometer is right down in the base. You can see little ridges down there. There's a little tin can that has a flexible top, and that's the heart of the barometer. You can make your own barometer, provided you have something that takes the place of that tin can. Here's what you could use. A little glass jar, or an aluminium cup, or here's my favourite, a tin can that happens to have ridges on the bottom. It needs a top. What will we use for that? Take a balloon and cut the neck off the balloon in this manner here with a pair of scissors. Just slice it across carefully, straight as you can, and you now should be able to stretch that balloon over the tin can, and it makes a tight, stretchy top for that part of the barometer. There it is there. Looks a bit like a drum, doesn't it? Now, it works best if you can reduce the pressure inside there just a little, and that's quite easy to do. Just get the edge of the rubber balloon, pull it out, and then press some of the air out, like so. Then let it jump back in place. You now have a concave skin to the drum. Then take a little piece of sticky blue tack or plasticine or double-sided tape and put it right in the very center of the balloon skin top of your tin can. Next, we need an arrow, a pointer. Take a plastic drinking straw and slice the end off in that manner there, and we now have a sharp point there. All we need to do now is to place that on the tin can so that the uncut end sits down on top of the blue tack and the edge of the drinking straw pivots on the side of the can. You can see that now what happens to that arrow depends on how much the air is pressing down. If we have a lot of hot, dry air, we call that a high, it's a higher pressure and it'll press, press down on the skin, on the balloon. Watch what happens to the, the little arrow, which is like a seesaw, right? It goes up at the other end. If, on the other hand, the, wet, the air is moist, it doesn't press so much, so the skin comes up and the arrow goes down. Well, you can see that I've already made a background for our little barometer. Cardboard, little hole there so I can stick the can in. And then just to show us which way the arrow is going, I have some labels. If it moves up, it means we're heading towards dry weather. There's the dry label there. If it moves down, we're heading towards damp weather, wet weather, perhaps rain. Each day, all you need to do is to take note of where the arrow is right now. And it's Friday today, let's say, so we put an F there. And what we have to do is to make sure that when we come back tomorrow, we compare the point of the arrow with that point there. See which way it's gone, and it'll tell you what the weather's going to be like tomorrow. Curiosity.